Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to design a base plate connection in Idea Statica. So this is the Idea Statica main uh, window. If you want to design a connection, you can uh, click on this button. The new window will pop up. So first you need to choose the type of connection you want. And in this case, I will choose the base plate here. And I want to use this type. And the connection I'm going to design is the moment connection. So I click on this logo and next you can adjust the material. I want to use A36 and this is the uh, bolt side that I want to use for this connection. And I will keep the wheel grade and concrete grade uh, the default value here. And the code I want you to, to design is AISC, the Amer uh, American standard. So I will click on this. You can also change it to something like Euro code or Canada code. It depends on you. Next, I click on the create project and this window will pop up. And this is the base plate. Uh, so the first thing you need to adjust is the column size. I will add new the uh, new type of the uh, column here, and I want to use the Japanese standard. So I click on H Japan here, and then we use this size H two hundred. I will hide the member here first and this is the load combination and keep in mind that this load combination is uh, only the final load combination what I mean is that uh, this is the critical load combination so you need to take the the combination that you think that is a critical for your base plate from the structure analysis now I will change this a little bit okay let's uh, design for uh, this this combination and next you can adjust the, the base plate here first you can choose the material I will keep this and I want to use something like 16 Sixness of the base plate, and I will use two profile symmetry card because I want the top, uh, the top and bottom, and the left and right of the base plate to be the same. And you want to change, you can also change like this. It's not symmetry call uh, anymore. So I will choose to profile symmetry call and I change this to sorry to 100 and 100 and next you can adjust the anchor here and this is the anchor side and if you change your mind you can change to another side here next is the anchoring length and you want to uh, adjust the anchoring length you can put different number here in this case I will use 300 and this is the location of the anchor I will show you first the zero the anchor bolts is uh, located at the corner of the member so this is what zero mean I don't want to use this because it's not possible to use anchor like that so I add uh, 50 here and also one now uh, 50 here also so the base plate is symmetry call like this and this is the wheels uh, side I right, choose uh, 6 millimeter first I will show you what this number means uh, later 
but for now I use a six millimeter first and this is for concrete block this is the material I will keep this and this is the, the upset number here is start from the edge of the base plate so this is the value 300 uh, means now I want to use 100 only because I want uh, the column to stand on uh, the concrete column not the foundation so it should be smaller and the depth I think I should change this a little bit okay it should be like this and um, for the shear force transfer I want to use anchors you can also change friction to shear lock also if you want to use shear lock like this but uh, for the case here, I will use anchors and I will use mortar join. This uh, mortar join is usually grout because uh, if you use grout under the base plate here, it's easy for us to adjust the weight level of the base plate uh, from construction experience so this is uh, how you uh, uh, adjust the base plate so I, I think this one is okay now the next thing is I, uh, I need to make sure that the option here is already okay for uh, my case here and in this case, I will use L or FD, and you want you to use ASS, uh, ASD, it, you can click on this. But I will keep the default here. And next, you can go to code setup. If you want to change some coefficient, you can uh, change in this window. But for now, I will keep this uh, value to be default. Now, I I want to uh, run the analysis to check if the design here is okay or not. So, as you can see, it's not okay. But first, you need to check the uh, top left corner here, the information here. So first, the analysis is uh, is 100% plus, uh, completed. So it's okay for analysis, but the plates, anchors, and wheels is not uh, are not okay. Concrete block is okay, and this is the buckling analysis. We haven't run the buckling analysis yet, so there is no information here. Now first, I will adjust the plate here a little bit. So I will go to this and change the size of the plate here to uh, the thickness of the plate here to 20 millimeter, and I uh, run the analysis again. And the plates here is okay, but the anchors and wheels are not okay. So the problem here uh, you can check by go to the check tab here and see. Uh, the anchor here how why it is a uh, fail you can click to see uh, the, the detail here I think okay now you can uh, see the detail here the concrete block up uh, the concrete breakout resistance is fail because the the uh, the string is less than the uh, the force it's tonal force here so you have to adjust the size of the, the concrete block now I, I will add this to be 300 it's a little bit not little I think 
by the speaker. So this is okay for now. But the wheels are not okay. So I will adjust the side here. Let's say it's a one millimeter and I run the analysis again. It's almost okay. So let's say eight millimeter. So this is okay, and the design is complete. But I don't want the wheel uh, design. And as I mentioned, I will show you what that number means. You can go to wheels tab here, and this is not the throat of the wheel side, but uh, the throat side of the wheel. Sorry. Uh, this is the value of the throat. So if you put H, uh, 8 here, the throat side will be 5.7. I think this is uh, not uh, okay. I want to use smaller throat size. So let's say this uh, 6, but I will change the design here a little bit. I will use the stiffener here and I change this to 10. Now, okay, let's run the analysis again. It's still fail, but I think it's okay. Uh, we can use this. So this is how you design the concrete base plate. Uh, sorry, the the base plate. You can also check a uh, concrete block also. And one more thing is uh, you can also show more are like uh, equivalent stress strain or like stress in concrete this is both forces and this is the mesh option this is teflon you can uh, see how the connection the base plate here uh, is deformed when uh, under the load combination that you put and this is go back to uh, the overall check. Now you can run the backlink analysis by clicking on the small arrow here and uh, go to backlink analysis. Okay, so the, the backlink information here show the result after the, uh, the backlink analysis. You can also go to the backlink tab here. And there are six uh, modes you, as you can see uh, in the table here. And the information here is, is already take the critical one. So you can check in this information and it's okay because it's already bigger than one so the connection here is okay next you can go to the report to uh, to generate the report of the design automatically so you can uh, use this Next, you can adjust uh, what you want to show in the report also. If you don't want to show the code setting, you can uh, unselect, uh, deselect the code uh, setting here. And this will be removed from the report here. You need to uh, refresh to generate the report again. And the code setting 
is already removed you can add uh, another thing also like cost is estimation next uh, you can also click on the bill of material this is the bill of material you it's easy for uh, do the report of the bill of the material to show what uh, kind of plate or bowl that uh, you use for this type of uh, connection now I will go back to design and I want to show you a little bit more about the best plate here so if I don't want to use this number it's too big let's say I only want to use 100 millimeter offset the connection will be fail like the first time we run like this but to to uh, change this you can go to code setup and change the concrete breakout resistance here to uh, to set to tell the program that uh, you don't want to you don't want the program to check the concrete breakout resistance so I will click none here and OK I will run this again so the connection is now passed but it's not um, the same as the previous design because now you need to add uh, the reinforcement bar because the program here is not uh, check uh, doesn't check the uh, concrete breakout resistance anymore so as you can see here the supplementary reinforcement need to be added so you have to use the result here to uh, do the hand calculation or use to you you know use another software or any other method that you do, uh, you think it's okay uh, to add the reinforcement bar uh, to design the reinforcement bar for this connection so this is how you design the base plate in idea study car i hope you guys get the idea and uh, i will show uh, more type of connection in idea study car in my uh, upcoming videos so thank you guys for watching i'll see you in my next video